Here is an older candlestick telephone. I'm not sure exactly how old this is. I think it was made sometime in the 70s. Um, it's uh, I don't think it has a day code on here. This is the information tag. I'm not really sure what Lever Brothers, I guess that would be the brand. Um, I believe this is replica, as you can see, it says Roaring Twenties down there, so it's got to be a replica. I'm not, like I said, I'm not entirely sure of how old it is. It may be older or not as old as I think it is. don't know. Um, it is rotary dial, and it does work. Um, it has the most horrible ring tone I've ever heard. Um, let's see if we can dial out from it. I think, I think we can still do rotary service over here. No, maybe not. Nope. Can't do rotary dial over here anymore. Huh. Isn't that interesting? So, okay. Well, this is a VOIP phone service over here. I think it's Comcast. And I guess they don't longer, they no longer do rotary dial. Um, I don't have a, a second line here. So I'm going to see if I can do a ring back. So I'm going to call uh, the weather phone. And... Um, We're sorry. Seven digit dialing. Please hang up. It's not accepted. Gee, this phone service of your things. I'm going to do a flash, and this should ring. What an awful ringtone that is. So... Um, I'm going to speak into here so you can hear how bad this thing sounds. It's not a very good telephone, really. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. It, um, it's hard to tell because I'm in the same room with it, but generally speaking, it sounds pretty bad. I think what I'll do is I'll record, I'll call myself, and I'll record a message on my telephone at home, and then we'll be able to get a better idea of just how bad the sound quality is on this telephone. But it does work, and it does what it's supposed to do. Um, I'll speak into the... Well, you can hear the receiver works just fine. Um, so let me call... have to call out from this phone because uh, I can't dial out on rotary. I think we have to wait five rings before it'll answer. Hello, this is a test message from the vintage candlestick telephone at my grandmother's house. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello, hello. Audio test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When I go home later, I will play back this message on my telephone and you'll be able to hear the sound quality that this telephone puts out. Goodbye. Okay, I'm back home, and here's that test message from the candlestick phone. First new message from unknown caller. Hello, this is a test message from the vintage candlestick telephone at my 
grandmother's house. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hello, hello. Audio test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. When I go home later, I will play back this message on my telephone, and you'll be able to hear the sound quality that this telephone puts out. Goodbye. Okay, so there you have it. You can hear that the sound quality of that telephone really leaves a lot to be desired on the transmit end. I almost wonder if there's something wrong with it. It's been like that for as long as I can recall. Okay, so I think that's about all there is to, to demonstrate here. Oh, another thing that's kind of interesting is the cords um, are not replaced. Well, they may be replaced if you opened it up, but they're not uh, standard. You can't just put different ones on. So um, and it's, it's the same way for the for this thing as well. So there it is. Hopefully that was interesting to somebody. It's a neat telephone, but I guess because we can't dial out rotary anymore, it doesn't really get used ever. So, okay. That's it for this one. Goodbye.